एवरी वन इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द परसेंट आइल एंड परसेंटेज एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दैट आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द परसेंट आइल यूजिंग क्यूमुलेटिव रेलटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द परसेंट आइल यूजिंग द क्यूमुलेटिव रेलटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी सो वी हैव द टू क्वेश्चन वट इज द परसेंट आइल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु गॉट द स्कोर ऑफ सेवन एंड द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द परसेंट आइल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु गॉट स्कोर ऑफ टेन सो लेट्स सी वन बाई वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डू वॉट we should have the score and frequency in order to find the percentile or you can say that we should have a frequency distribution table in order to find the percentile using the cumulative relative frequency so here we have a table where i have already written the score and frequency including the relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency i have already uh, made a lecture on the relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency you can see it in the, on the information at uh, i'll give at the top Uh, the link of the uh, of that uh, video at the top and you can also say at the end of this uh, video the link to these two videos so that you can understand how to find the relative and how to find the cumulative relative frequency so once you are done with this you have the last column of percentile so in order to find the percentile you just need to make use of the cumulative relative frequency column what you have to do you have to convert the the you have to convert the decimal Uh, form of the cumulative relative frequency into the percentage form in the percentile column so let's see how we can do that we can do that by just multiplying the uh, the cumulative relative frequency column by 100 so if i multiply 1 by 100 i'll get 100 if i multiply 0.92 by 100 i'll get 92 these are the percentages basically 84 0.84 will be 84 percent 0.64 will be 64 percent and just multiplying them with 100 0.52 will be 52 percent 0.24 will be 24 percent 0.20 will be 20 percent 0.04 will be 4 percent and 0.04 will be 4 percent so these are the percentages that i have got from cumulative relative frequency now let's move to the question what is the percentile of the students who got score of 7 it means how many students are below you have to find this percentage of the students who fall below the score of 7 that means if i highlight here this is the score 7 and how many students have got the score of 7 that is 3 the frequency of these students is 3 so you have to check the percentage of the students not how many students the percentage of the students who have got the score less than 7 for that purpose you have to move to the row below this so we have to move to the row below that that is this row and when we move to this row we have to check the percentile value of this row so the percentile value of this row is 52 it means the percentile is 52% or you can say if i write here that 52% this is the answer of the question number 1 i will write here 1 52% of students score below the students with the with below the students with the score of 7 so it means that the students who got the score of 7 can say that they were better than 50% of the class right now this was the answer of the first question then we have the second one that is what is the percentile of the students who got score of 10 so we have a score of 10 and students are 2 two students have got the score of 10 and we have to check their percentile we have to move to the row below that i will highlight that row and the value of percentile that is 92 i can say that 92% of students score below the students with score of 10 so you can also verify both these values using the formula that i have told you in the lecture of uh, of uh, percentile but you can only verify this answer not this one because in in the question number 2 we have the rank of the students that is they are at the top rank they have scored the highest marks so we can say that their their rank is so as there are two students the rank will be 2 so you have to subtract 25 uh, 2 from the 25 that is 25 is the total number of students and divided with 25 you will get exactly the same percentile as we have find here but if you don't have the rank you cannot use the uh, formula that i have told you but you can if you have the frequency distribution table you can use this method so that's all from today's lecture thank you